Hello, Internet. I'm really angry about James Franco. Well, <laughs> welcome to Slalom Hill 3. Fuck you, James Franco, you <laughs> impulsive fucking idiot. Nothing's gonna make sense in this whole All you had video. to do was wait it out. <sighs> All you fucking had to do was wait it out. Somebody was gonna come find you because they were gonna realize you were missing, the police were gonna track your cell phone, and they were gonna come fucking find you. Fucking oh, Jesse Eisenberg shit. <laughs> you didn't have to chew off your goddamn arm, you fucker. Sam, you realize that's a thing that somebody actually did. Like, th there's a the dude did that because he was going to die. I don't care. There's a real life person who did that. I don't care. That guy's fine. James Franco's the idiot. <laughs> So welcome to Silent Hill 3. Yeah, welcome to Silent uh, so Hill. So that actually reminds me of a thing that I legitimately wanted to talk about uh, that I remembered today, and I was like, oh, I need to bring that up. And it's funny that uh, James Franco, I got mad about James Franco because now it's related. Anyway. Go away. Go away from that noise. All yeah, of that aside. I have to go to the noise to get to the door. Um, uh, you would we, yeah. you could go so far as to say that Silent Hill 3 has some sub-themes of, of cannibalism to them. Of consumption of self. Well, yeah, just general consumption. Yeah, consumption in, in all forms, yes. Reasons. Yeah, because reasons. Uh, mm. There's a very, very cool Stephen King short story uh, that I, I remembered uh, earlier today and wanted to bring up. Is And I don't remember the title of the story, and I don't remember <laughs> which book it's in. I mean, I'm not I mean, sure it's, it's even Stephen King that no, wrote it's, it. It's, it's so fuck good. off, you guys. It's a maybe, Stephen it was, maybe it was actually written on Fruit by the Foot. That made me clench my whole head, that room. <laughs> oh. I am just done. I'm done now. I'm done. No, I keep I'm not going to tell my story. Keep talking about I'm Maxim gonna... Overdrive. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell my tell my story, but I'm not gonna enlighten you all to a cool. You know that you know that ACDC's in Maximum no, no, Overdrive because that's I'm done. Stephen King's you favorite band. I am done. Uh, I'm gonna sit here and drink my coffee and watch Heather go through this fucking door while I'm mad about James fucking Franco, <laughs> and y'all can come suck my dick. Why aren't you mad about Paul Reiser? Because he's mad about you. Oh my god. Fucking Jesse Weisenberg, Winklevoss twin I'm shit. Out. I'm out. <laughs> uh, did he leave? He can't Fuck. leave. <laughs> I think he left. Fuck it! <laughs> so anyway, welcome to Slalom Hill 3. There's an iron grave blocking the way. <laughs> hey, I'm back. Hi. In my dreams, I shred that town, Slalom Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Have you literally been waiting <laughs> two minutes and 47 seconds to make that joke? <laughs> my waiting so much is trying repeatedly while you yelled about uh, James Franco. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I have feelings, James. <laughs> also, Heather is really good at climbing ladders. Yeah, we'll find that out later, though. I mean, sorry. I don't mean... I don't want to fucking spoil <laughs> the Spoilers, whole game. Spoilers, Heather climbs a ladder later in this game. <laughs> Okay. That didn't even make dumb sense. <laughs> we, we are lucky. I mean, we are lucky in that very little actually happened while we were bullshitting. Yeah, <laughs> we, we are lucky in that y'all are still yeah. watching. Please don't tune out. Please, we love please, you. Please, please stay you with us. It. Come back to you. us. Come find us. In also, uh, we're now hill. in the construction site, which yeah. is yeah. notable as uh, one of one of only two places in the game that does not have a map. Yeah, we're yep, on ground it's level now, and I actually don't think we went high enough short. up to be on ground level. Yeah, no, impossible geometry. I also yeah. like that this whole place is surrounded in canvas for some reason. Because <laughs> construction! Another well, good way to hide the draw distance and yeah, box you I, in. Hide literally. the draw distance, and also it's just, it's a really nice touch in that it creates immediate claustrophobia. And also, hmm, what is an in, what is a, a, the, another word for a, a, a space that is meant to to nurture and grow something um has a has has symbolism of renewal school yeah school <laughs> a garden no no it's a, it's a it's a it's a warm kind of confined place. greenhouse bed mm yeah no these are all the words that <laughs> i greenhouse bed god damn it sam we know you're talking about a uterus <laughs> I was waiting for Sam to get to a place that kind of like shreds itself from the inside out every like 28 days. Uh, yeah. <sighs> we have fun If you're here. lucky. We have fun here. Electricity's off, it won't work. But I'm not going to talk about my periods on the internet. 
Uh, Wouldn't be the worst know, thing we talked about in this session alone. Uh, yeah. It's true. <laughs> yeah. What are we, like, what? ten minutes in? Five no, minutes No, the worst in. thing we talk about is James fucking Franco, okay, that lazy so, fucking stoner ass. I'm done. So, I'm so, done now. So Heather is, like, mas master chemist. <laughs> Has all of these, like, things she knows how to do. Make mustard gas, clear out some moths. But she's pretty certain a bucket of adhesive won't do anything for her. Nah. <laughs> Don't it's need cool, it. It's cool, man. She makes her own glue. Look, she's, look, she's already carrying a fucking maul with her. The thing weighs like 15 pounds. Okay, that was actually kind of unnerving. Oh, yeah, no, the ambiance is really nice. It's really good. 2F. 2F for me. <laughs> and no smoke. I love, I love the, uh, the mixture of a laughing sound with a uh, clanging metal yeah. in the background. There's a lot of yeah, uh -oh. there's a, there's a lot of really interesting uh, a lot of really interesting For sounds that go into this sake, area. Entry is forbidden. Oh, that's kind of an awkward the way, way to put it. The way that's said is so good. Ugh. 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 <laughs> game you guys. This game. A toolbox. Whole toolbox, oh, nothing useful. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing. In, there's nothing inside of it. Apparently, yeah. There's, there's, there's literally nothing in it, right? Could, look, she's not Travis Gritty. She's not gonna just pick up random junk and throw it at things. <laughs> step ladder. That's not even a step ladder. That's a full on ladder. Did you? Uh, did you check out? I still have not. Yeah. Look, there's only so. Much, I have literally been home for like 18 hours, no, and I a know. lot of that I was sleeping. So we're all busy. You'll just have to take my word for it, and I, I'm sure you believe me when I say that Silent Hill Origins was ridiculous. Oh, yeah. No, completely and totally believe you. Really have no use, no for, use a for a fire extinguisher. Really forward-thinking there, Heather. If there's a fire Ace. in the next room, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's a fire anywhere in this game. Yeah, no? that'd, be, that'd, be, that'd be too warm uh, and lively. There is some later. Um, oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Plain old wash bit. Nothing special about it. I also love the footsteps going on above us. Mm -hmm. It's a toilet. That, that is in the game, right? That's not like yeah, Zach oh, yeah. in the no, next room I'm, over. I'm hearing it. Yeah, I, I, okay. I, I, I paused for like a quarter of a second to see if it was coming from outside the room. Also, there's a bunch of TP. Why, Heather, why don't you take that? It could become a mummy. <laughs> no way the monsters will never know. Blend right in. I I think they'd know. Blend right in. Monster, no, monster that just camp. seems ridiculous. I can't really... She is literally finding the makings for a bomb. <laughs> we have glue. The time? We have rubber cement. We have a fire extinguisher. Remember, this is... Remember, this is... A, oh, yeah, this is... Uh, Actually, man, this wall sure looks really weird, huh? Yeah. Glue, yep. cement, and a fire extinguisher wouldn't be too much... There wouldn't be too much of you with that. There's like three inert substances. So yeah, a thing to note. So a thing to note here is that we get a silencer, and there's a there's a body in the wall. Yeah. Now the thing that's the thing that's implied here is that uh the thing that's implied here is that that solid snake. Oh really? Yeah. I hope those he are just mannequin legs. He got trapped. He that he got trapped in the wall, and that's why there's a silencer in there from his uh, USP. Wow! I, did, I never knew that. So, can we now write crossover fanfic of uh, Silent or uh, Solid Snake goes to Silent Hill? Jake Snake was sneaking one day oh, into no. Heather Masson. Oh! <laughs> oh man, a filthy mattress. Yeah, put it. Yeah, shove it in that fucking hole. Do it. Yeah, do that's it. Drop it in the hole. Fuck it. Get down there. Oh, Heather has so far been in a mall, been in a basement, been in a sewer, and been in a construction site, and now wandering through this abandoned building. Yep. I also Got like it. that. I also like that she finds like this weird little like uh, squatters area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that that horrible mattress actually reminded me of a story. <laughs> oh no. Shoot. Oh no. If I don't get to tell stories, nobody else gets to fucking tell stories. You told a story. James, tell that story. You Fuck decided you. not. You decided not to tell that story. Yeah, I want to hear James' story. You. So, Fuck <laughs> all of you. Go tell your story. I'm just kidding. I actually want to hear your story. So James. a few weeks ago, I was down by Lake Cumberland, and we were in like the back country of Kentucky, and we we found this place that Kevin and I called House Bolton, because <laughs> it, because it was at the corner of uh, Bolton uh, of Bolton Road and Bolton Spur Road. <laughs> Okay. It was it was from like the Great Depression. The whole foundation was fucked. Everything was sinking into the center, and everything seemed kind of 
fine on the inside. There's an old stove and some newspaper and stuff like that. And then we went upstairs. <laughs> Always the mistake. There was a box spring, a quarter of a mattress, a stick of deodorant, a woman's dress, men's khaki shorts, a scarf, some purse straps, no purse, and one children's bowling pin. <laughs> You found somebody's sex dungeon. Aww. So what? If, so James, what exactly is a quarter of a mattress? Just like everything, like the 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 roof was basically open to the weather, and it rains a lot in Southern Kentucky. So Ooh, just everything okay. was rotted away except for one corner of the mattress. Huh. Weird. Also, if you're wondering why I'm being so hesitant. It's because I have to run out this window, and there's going to be everything trying to fucking kill me when I get outside. Could you say you're being Heather stint? I'll see myself no. out. This is also, the silencer is a is a weapon that is useful in theory. I or I, a tool that is useful in theory. I will never use it. So less damage, but also uh, less aggro radius. Yeah, but everything gets aggroed anyway, just by you, like, being there. Aw, oh, yeah. Fuck. DJ dropped the beat. Yep, we gonna go into another building. And this will take us into the Hilltop Center. Hey, we're in the center. Glad we're oh, not yeah, on Oh, yeah, this is another camp. really weird area. This is actually one of my favorite areas in the game. Man, I feel like you're going to say that when we go anywhere. <laughs> well, guess what? <laughs> it's a weird game. Oh, man. I Heather, love, why don't I you make some fucking coffee? Off. Jesus. A thermal carafe. <laughs> I love wood paneled offices. Also, Matt, I'm sorry in advance, but I've, I've created a little bit of work for you. <laughs> okay. Someone was knocking on my door, and instead of muting my microphone, I muted That's my fine. Skype, and I realized too Good late. Good job. That's so fine. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to talk about it. I'm going to cut all this out. Cool. Yeah, sorry. You, you, you also, you can now, see. We you are can now see still this, talking about this. This is thing. a place where this is a place where Heather's like the weird, uh, sh uh, the weird like halo around Heather becomes very obvious because it's very dark mm -hmm. all the time, and it and it also for some reason uh, affects the like the beam from her flashlight or reflections back on her. <laughs> Yeah, um, I totally see. What oh you yeah, mean. and let's see. Uh, is this Monica's dance studio? Should be. So one of the things about Monica's there. dance studio is it's apparently named after um, what is it? It is uh, uh, it is named after Monica Taylor Morgan, who voiced Mary in Silent Hill Two. <gasps> oh, it's the best room. Oh yeah, this is great. Oh. Shh. Shut up. Huh, that's interesting. This, this is blood. Man, remember when they did this scene in Revelations? Oh god! Remember how subtle it was? Can I? Blood. Let me tell you my blood step. Blood never changes. Let me tell you my step-by-step -step reaction <laughs> to seeing that in Revelations. What about your day-by-day -day reaction? How much Patrick Duffy's involved in it? Look, <laughs> I knew instantly what room they were in, and I turned to Nate, and I was like. Oh man, this is gonna be really cool. This was the best room. And then. <laughs> also, I challenge the assertion that this is the best room because there is a better room. There is a better room. It's one of the best rooms. This game has a lot of rooms in it. Also, pro scratch. Oh yeah. Very good. Yeah, you hit those dogs, man. You hit them real I good. I spotted that dog right the fuck out of the air. Yeah. Fucking MLG Pro. Use that bulletproof vest against an animal that goes mainly for your limbs. <laughs> yep. Seems good. For some reason, it reduces damage. Makes you feel better. Just makes you feel, man. Ugh. Just like busting. Why were there? Why were there extra people there? I love the ground level, one foot high cabinets. <laughs> 
I think those are water fountains. <laughs> no, not not the boxes. Like if you look at the walls every once in a while, you'll see one Who of them. Who cares about that right now? <laughs> Monica's dance studio. No, yep. why were there extra people in Revelation? Who were they? Uh, why were they there? Extras. To die. They were there to die. Man, man, it's a horror movie. People have people have to die. You have to be scary things have to happen constantly, just nonstop. Just needs to be scary things like this this pop tart. You might see a pop tart. I see a jump scare. I want a pop tart. Also, I just I I missed it here, but uh, she says Dorzer, which is my uh, that's my favorite little like uh contraction. Little teenism. Yeah. So now that we're talking eh, about apostrophe it, re on on a uh, on a noun is okay. Yeah, it's legit. Multiple multiple noun. Prindle and enus. <laughs> Ver, verbing a verbing a noun is essentially that. I do it all the time, and I get made fun of. All yeah, nouns gets, must be verbed. Verbing weirds language. Your face weirds language. <laughs> That's what your mom said. What were you going to say, James? Map. I don't recall. Aww. Although it it does now, I'm not sure whether it's more weird that she's looking through these random forms for something she might be interested in, or that she's not interested in any of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when you find yourself in a nightmarish hellscape made of your own uh, inner fears, you got to look for all the clues. Yeah, you welcome the mundanity of paperwork, I suppose. <laughs> Just a smidge. smidge. Wait, where Touch. was where was the pixel you had to look for to find that drawer? Because he looked at the desk and it's the thing. On, I mean, it's just on the desk. It's 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 not a hard thing to it's not a hard thing to find if you're looking for it. Yeah, I said it in Silent Hill Four, and I'll say it again. I love that Silent Hill protagonists look at the thing that you're supposed to look at. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, it's a very, it's a nice little, like, subtle hint that there's a thing there. Yeah. In case, you know, so, some of the stuff just glows, which is also nice. I like it being very explicit sometimes. If I remember correctly, um, Legend of Zelda first did that in Wind Waker. Oh, yeah. I think we were talking about that a little bit. Yeah, like, every once in a while when you, like, I first noticed when you fought a hobgoblin, or hobmoblin, whatever. And the uh, and his machete a went down, snobbling. and he just sort of stared at it, and opened his mouth like, "Oh, <laughs> oh man, I want oh, that." Oh man, it's a mob noblin, hip hoplin. It's a scrib shablin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wacky fun time adventures in Silent Hill Three. Look, Drawer. not much is going on right now. We don't have a lot I to still, talk about. I still like that. Uh, I also like that. Um, I think this this also happens in the other games, but we just never saw it too much. But um, I I do like that. Uh, I do like that uh, Heather will write stuff down uh, on the map uh, in just huge letters where you need to go. Yeah. Here, this. Get this thing. There's a drawer here. Remember this. It's important. Save point. It's a weird thing to notice, but there's a lot of light switches on that wall. Oh, it's yeah. a dance studio. Well, it's, yeah, it's a dance studio, yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess that does make sense. Mm hmm Oh, there's a friend. Yeah. Just ignore friend. it. Let him sleep. So I don't think there's actually anything I can get out of this room. Nope, it's just great. It's just a fun place to be. Oh, hey, it's just a cool stop place to hang here. Out. <laughs> it's a cool place for teens. It's a Boys and Girls Club of America. <laughs> also, the shadows start really freaking out here with the pipe. Yeah. yeah. Get piped. What was it eating? Get piped. Uh, it just some meat. Matter. You don't want to know. Yeah, probably not. That's probably Monica. Silent Hill meat. She oh, died defending poor, her studio. Poor Monica. Cue friends. Does theme song? <laughs> but no one, no one told you life was gonna, was gonna be this way. That's the best way to hear it. Just, <laughs> just half a second off of each other. <laughs> yep. That's well, it, it is Silent Hill after all. Everything's got to be a little discordant. <laughs> yes. So I'm just gonna leave that guy there because nothing comes of fighting him. Yep. Aside from experience. No. Level up. A lot of this. uh 
a lot of this game consists of fights that you really don't need to participate in. But then we can't yeah. use all of our sick one-liners. It's yeah, it's 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 interesting um, that you say that. Mm-hmm. There's a I lot forget. of fights. There's a lot of fights you can get in that you really can just avoid. There's a lot of things you don't need to kill. I forget. Is this? Uh, do one of the endings depend on how many things you kill? Yes, I believe okay, so. Yeah. Yes. It also has to be on the second playthrough. Yeah. Well. Yeah. What's this you're one? Aware Your third. Of it. Uh, second. Okay. Do you have any cool one-liners? For for what? For Silent Hill fighting. Uh. It's it's um. kind of hard to come up with one-liners because they're usually like they're usually based around like the the person that you're the person you're fighting or like the I mean I guess you could do some based around like the place you're fighting in. Not today. God <laughs> damn it! That is that is actually my favorite one because it's so bad. Garbage day. <laughs> No, blam! <laughs> Silent Night, Deadly Night. I've only seen like the murder spree sequence in that yeah. movie. Is it Silent Night, Deadly Night Two? Yes, which is mostly, which is it, as far as I understand, it is mostly um other clips from the original Silent Night, Deadly Night. Uh, oh. The most of the movie is done in flashback. Also, KMN Auto Parts, which KMN stands for Kill Me Now. <laughs> It must be so inconvenient having an auto parts store on like the fifth floor of a building. Right. right especially so got, in a place got... that's especially in a place that's mostly offices. Well yeah, just take this muffler downstairs. Oh yeah, this is the so this is um <laughs> This is a yeah, gallery. This, mm-hmm. Yeah, this art gallery. Everything here is significant. Remember that this ti- remember this painting is titled Repressor of Memories. Mm-hmm. Suddenly we're playing Eve again. Suddenly we're playing <laughs> Deadly remember Premonition. That this is, Oh god. Remember that it's called that. Also, for the record. Oh, also have, this is where we a... get the this is where we get the best weapon in the game. Yay. For the record, I have a one liner when we next time we fight a specific enemy. Oh no, I'm not ready. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna hold on to it. it. Okay. Write it hold down on a little it. note card. Put it in your pocket. No, I got it. I got it. It's right here. So here we go. Oh, there yep. it is. The katana, which is actually a wakizashi. Oh, oh, yeah, because sure. she takes the short sword. <laughs> I never noticed that before. And she even says it's about two feet long. Yep. Um, yeah, and the katana is still just sitting there. But to be fair, like, uh, so that's that's the downside of the of the of the katana, as I'm going to call it, because that's what the game calls it, is that it's only two feet long. So you lose a little bit of range. But in every other respect, it is better in as much as it's actually a weapon. Um, yeah, and it's very it has quick. that. Yeah, it's very fast. It does a lot more damage. I would take both. Right. Why would you ever leave one? Yeah, take the dice show. Oh, there must not have been a screwdriver in any of those toolboxes. (laughs) Nope. Nope. There's only one right there. Look at this weird avant-garde shit. The only caption's still around. No, it's just a missing painting. Flame purifies painting. I know. (laughs) Yeah, it's a, it's a statement. It's a bass relief of a painting. Yeah. Oh yeah, someone was asking if there's going to be fire. You're really mm-hmm. supposed to be looking at what's around the wall. Five thousand dollars. That looks like a Scrabble board. It's it all about what you like don't see. Man, what a world. <laughs> it's actually what? again fifty bucks. <laughs> nice and simple. Yeah, uh, the, I just I like all the uh, all the incidental pieces here are very. <laughs> I like, Break I like it. Heather Heather's day at the gallery. <laughs> yeah, just like it's like when she goes in the jewelry store and it's like, oh man, that diamond necklace is missing. Too bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I totally would have stolen that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Galleries of fine auto. Wait, fine art. <laughs> I thought it said fine, fine auto because it's. I thought it was said fine auto because it's next to the automotive place. Also said that word real weird. Mm-hmm. Oh, listen to that. Time to take time to our, our wakasashi needs to taste blood. Moo. <laughs> I will honor my ancestors. The purple cowiness is coming to get you. I also like even with this, like Heather still, she knows how to, she knows what end of a sword to hold and which 
and, and the, the pointy end goes in the other guy, but aside from right. that, she's still very yeah, clueless. She's, she's not really doing, like, proper sword work there, which is good. It's exactly right. Yeah, it's good. Be. That's that's one of the things that kind of bugged me about The about the Walking Dead. Um, if any of you are familiar with that, that the character Michonne, it, she keeps everything that she, everything that is suggested in the show suggests she found a sword and used it, and yet she's using, like, perfect forms. <laughs> Aside from the times that she takes it in one hand, because, like, there's just a zombie right there, and she needs to, like, make it not bite her. There's a lot of things wrong with The Walking Dead. What if she also found a book with the sword? Like I really thought, not a like, sword maybe book, though. Just like, Whoa, oh yeah. So bye. fun fact: uh, uh, Nathan the Drake. Thing... No, fight him! Fight him! <laughs> so yeah. Ah, uh, damn it. Fun fact: the only thing in that room is that insane cancer. Yeah. You're probably and not it... gonna fight an insane cancer anytime soon, are you? Uh, there's probably a, there's going to be there's going to be a point where I need to. Um, I can't. Hold I can on guarantee that long. you. That. I will. I will hold on that long. I will do it. All you guys are gonna forget, and then I'm gonna fucking crush it when I drop this shit on you. Oh, down. hey, it's unlocked. Now we can get out. Exploration in offices. KMN Auto Parts, home of the pink Cadillac. We had a jack. They invented it. Oh yeah, this will probably be useful. Oil and foil and stuff like that. I... Nope, just not going to take the oil or, or the kerosene that's clearly sitting there or anything along those lines. Well, nothing nope, just interesting gonna take, on the poster. Just going to take that car jack. Well, if you didn't take the kerosene, if you took the kerosene, you'd look pretty silly for not taking the fire extinguisher. <gasps> yeah. <sighs> the fuck? What? What indeed, Heather? <laughs> what, what could indeed? be wrong with this? <laughs> Serious looking papers. I'm not going to mess up these guys' office work. They try so hard. I, I don't <laughs> think it matters at this point. So, this I, is... I want some of these tissues. What is this? This is, uh... Is this the office part of the auto part place? Yeah, they still have some, they have some parts in the back, though. Yeah, like, there's that... There's all that oil and <laughs> the jack. Like, maybe they, like, process, like, shipments here. Or something. Yeah, those are like their samples that they took oh, off hey, the Sam, top. Oh, hey, Sam, you wanted me to? You wanted? Do you wanted that insane cancer thing to happen? Yes. Is it about to? Excellent. Time for remission. <laughs> there we go. Really? You, you couldn't have done something like I'm on a remission. <laughs> no. A remission from God? No, I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of it. It was good. I figured remission would be some part of it. Also, this is a very hard fight to get in because the insane cancer blocks your entire view. Damn it, Nathan Drake. <laughs> oh, it's still alive. Sully. <laughs> what? <laughs> From Uncharted. Okay. Um, yep, I thought there was something in here, but there wasn't. <laughs> nope. I'm probably not doing Just this wasted a justice. whole bunch of ammo. Nathan Drake is a much bigger monster than this monster is. <laughs> yeah, no, that monster didn't commit genocide all to get a statue. Yeah, he just yep. runs around breaking people's neck, going, That's your neck. That's your neck. <laughs> That's your neck. <laughs> That's, That's your, your neck. neck. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only person that was, like, really weirdly put off by, like, how willing Nathan Drake is to just murder everybody. He's got nothing to lose and I mean, nothing to live for. It, it's it's spectacle creep. If It wasn't quite as bad in the first games, but... Oh, uh, no. Over... Yes, it was. You're misremembering the first game. No, I've, the first I've, game I've watched, literally I've watched in... the first game and he murders, like, 500 people. Oh, wait, yeah, no, the no. first game was bad, too. Yeah. Yeah, the Shush. first game, like, the games themselves are good, they're just incredibly discordant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it also kind of reminds me games. of, like, although speaking, yeah. although speaking of, like, spectacle creep, that is a thing, um, I remember, uh, when I, when I, when I read the, uh, the actual graphic novel for Kick-Ass, I was like, I think this is because I came into, like, Iron Age comics after, I don't know, 30 40 years of iron age comics and so i'm like oh wow there's a lot of needless blood and gratuity in this 
A lot of needless gratuity. Too many people tip their surfers. Plus, that's just, uh, that's just kick-ass, though. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's kind of like... I, I did, I, after I read Volume 2, I decided I was not going to watch the movie, because, like, fuck, okay? Yeah. Papers, papers, like there's a, gun. a I will say that there a, a man's head gets chopped off and replaced with a dog's head, and that's not even the worst thing that happens. Nice. Yeah, nah. That's that's pretty like that's pretty much kick ass. Did did your map just say water glass on the next floor up? I don't think so. I think it did. I think in the top left is water glass. And on the bottom left it's Geological Survey Company. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll have to take a look at that. I, I I wasn't paying too much attention to the to the margins. You weren't really looking at the map for all the times you were looking at the map. <laughs> I was looking Just... at I was looking at where the doors were. Having it up to have it up. That's what she said. Yep. <laughs> was it like a, was it like a commentary? Hey, it's Monica's dance studio. This is Monica's dance studio. Here you learn Monica's dance. What did you forget down here? Huh? Uh, I need to. I need to use the car jack. Oh yeah, yeah. I. What? We gotta open the elevator door. Cause the ele yeah, the elevator was stuck shut. Oh. So you use the car jack to to wrench it open, and then. Did, I need... Why are you complaining about that? That actually makes a lot of sense. And then I need to, man, I need something that I could climb down there. We're, if you're grown about that, you're going to groan a lot more about this other thing. I, I, I expect to. <laughs> oh man, most, what's most in, what's puzzles in... puzzles are just like different ways to use a key. Here we go. Well, man, what's, let's find out what's inside this drawer. I also like that there's an animation of Heather prying the drawer open. Mm -hmm. Tamping it down. Oh, that... good. Thank, thank God there's 50 feet of rope inside this drawer. <laughs> Why couldn't you get that without widening the drawer? <laughs> I couldn't fit my... I couldn't, Heather couldn't fit her, like, sausage fingers in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best kind of gameplay, using a key to get a key to get a key to get a key. Yep. You've just described Silent Hill. That's you've it. Just, you've described most games, actually. Think about Bioshock. Yeah. When do you turn on the generator? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to fetch quests. There we are. That's safe. Also, I don't know where Heather's tied that rope off to. You know what? Uh, Doesn't matter. The, 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 no. <laughs> Last Drop Cafe, Elbert and Life Insurance, Echo Interiors and Floor Fashions. I like Last Drop Cafe. That's yeah. foreboding. Oh man, we got cold sigils. Cold! An unforgiving, <laughs> unremitting cold. Wait, they just taped that one on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's like sister. printer quality. They didn't draw that on there. <laughs> also, the only word oh, the only word I can make out on the buttons is security. Yeah, that's... Let me tell you, I know a thing or two about vending machines, and that doesn't yeah. make any sense. <laughs> you know, I actually managed to, I actually learned uh, the way to get into a deep, into the debug menu on most vending machines. Yeah, the programming is fairly easy to find if you look for it. Yeah, and also nobody changes the default, because you can't, like, get a free soda with it or anything. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, uh... Well, you actually, can't we're, we're not there yet. Mode. Is that where it, like doles out too? Every once in a while, yeah. I know you can. Uh, I know the the one thing I was able to do with the with the vending machines at my college was uh, you can go through and see how many uh, see how many of every drink is sold, and also yeah. how much money the vending machine is taken in. Yeah, that's um, if you want to try stuff. it at home. Uh, you if you look at the buttons going uh, going up to down on the machine and think about them as numbers, you type in four two three one. And that activates the. If they haven't changed the code, that will activate the debug mode, and you can move through the menus by hitting. Uh, I bl let's see. I think you can move through. Oh yeah, the mental health clinic inside this office, underneath the automotive place. That one's actually kind of reasonable. You do find yeah. mental health yeah. clinics in strange yeah. places. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I go interior floors and fashions. Also, did you just crack open, like, the entire vending machine secrets? Mm-hmm. Like, Well, it changes from brand to brand. And it's... But most of them will do that. Also, yeah. these dogs, these uh, these dog figurines that appear in Echo also show up in Silent Hill Four. Yep. The debug yes, mode is mostly it. informational rather than like changing. Yeah, you can't functions. you can't get a free you you can't get a free soda out of it, so nobody gives a shit. If you and if you exit the debug menu, you hit the coin return button. Yeah, and you can learn you can learn if there's malfunctions. Can you learn if there's poison in the pop? Uh, there's always poison. Soda is always poison. Remember this. Gotcha. This is important. Hey guys, did you know if you pour soda into a a, a pan and and boil it, it'll crystallize? You know why? Because people are fucking idiots and it's sugar. (laughs) You know, that's actually, um, what is it? Harry Hargraves, I think, actually did a thing where he made, uh, just to show how much sugar is in soda, he made lollipops out of all the different kinds of sodas. This is a fun thing. Oh, yeah. I love tubs. Oh, oh yeah. The start of Saw 1. Yeah, turn on that tub that's not connected to anything. To anything, yeah. <sighs> Why isn't it working? Of course you knew it. Ah, oh, man, I'm never going to be able to take a bath. It's like taking a I dump how- in the Home Depot toilet. <laughs> a. Ooh. It's time. Ooh. I was What's out. That? I was out. Oh, no. For We're the other very- world. Very in. Also, that vein effect is super cool. Red weeds ever. Good night, internet. Good night. Good night. Good night.